Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to install your AMD chipset driver in case you're having uh, an issue that I have and probably, you know, uh, a lot of people are having the same issue. If you try to install it through the regular, you know, software installer, uh, you get this window, you know, then you make a choice of the ones that you want to update and you're going to get an error and it's going to say, you know, fail to install. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bypass this. I'm going to leave this window up here just for uh, reference. But for example, like what mines, it wouldn't do uh, three, three or four out of these five weren't working. So what I'm going to do is show you the old school way to do it through the uh, device manager and get the you know drivers installed that way. So one of the ones that may be tricky to find is this one here. So this AMD PSP driver, uh, what we're going to do for this and the other ones, this one's just a little bit harder to find. So this AMD PSP driver, we're going to go and go to our... Uh, start menu control panel we're going to click on system once this window pops up we're going to click on the device manager and you're going to get this window to pop up uh the one that i was just referencing to the psp is located in the security devices so you would click on here click on the psp device and we're going to do update driver and then what you're going to do is browse my computer for drivers once you install the uh, software from amd you're going to have it in your c amd chipset software a folder so you're just going to click on browse you're going to go to c amd the chipset software and as you can see here is your uh gp io2 driver let me go ahead and minimize this one so we can show you here so you're going to pick them from here in this case we're doing the security one so that one is in another folder so that i believe is in chipset installer or driver installer so you just want to make sure you you know click on the correct one So that is in the packages, I believe, chipset software. And here is the PSP driver. So obviously, if you have Windows 11, you would choose this one. Windows 10, you're going to click there. So literally, once you have this, you can leave, even leave it on PSP because it's going to detect your uh, OS system. Just highlight the folder, click on OK. And I'm not going to do it on mine because it's already done. But once you click on that, it should say, you know, driver successfully installed. And you're literally going to do that for all of them. That is the way you do it. So I'm going to show you these here real quick. So if you want to do the GPU uh, I.O. ones, just right click on that. Update driver and you're going to do the exact same thing and navigate to the folder that has that. And it's basically, you know, the same one I showed you earlier. You're just going to pick the binaries or the folder itself. Click OK and you should see that, you know, driver successfully installed. And that's how you get that done if you're getting that error once you try and do it through here. So that's it for the video. If you guys make use of this and, you know, found it helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, as always, post them in the comment section. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a great one.